Over the last 12 months, we've been taking planes, trains and buses all over the world. And because of our budget, we've been staying in some less than fancy places. But this bungalow sitting right by the ocean on the tropical island of Flores, Indonesia is one of the best places we've stayed by the beach ever. Today, we're gonna give you a full tour of the Coconut Beach Resort and show you what 24 hours looks like here. Somehow, Jordan has convinced me that every single morning we have to wake up and jump straight in the ocean to take advantage of it. I know he's right, but it doesn't make me like it anymore. That has got to be the best way to wake up. Before we show you the room and all the other things you can do at this resort, I think it's time for coffee. from our gorgeous beach hut is where we eat breakfast every morning. One thing I love about it here is that they kind of remember where you like to sit. We have sat at this exact table every single meal and every time it's all set and ready for us. It looks like there's only one other group of guests here today. In our first year of travel, we definitely took advantage of the fact that we were on the road a little bit too much and we would eat anything we could. If it was traditional food, we were trying it and having it. Even if it was fried cheese, fries, chocolate, waffles, we would have it every single day. So going into our second year of full-time travel, we still want to indulge and try all of the local cuisines, but where we can, we're going to try and choose the healthier options. So while chocolate pancakes in this beautiful resort surrounded by the cheesiest signs I have ever seen, sounds like a great way to start the day, Eggs on toast is probably that little bit healthier. Thank you. Thank you. Everything here comes with a cute little frangipani. Mmm. Mango's the way to go. <laughs> My absolute favourite thing about breakfast is always smiling at you. <laughs> now that we are fully caffeinated and fed, time to show you how we're living during this 24 hours. This entire cottage beach bungalow is just for us. There's not that much to show, but I feel like this is almost the epitome of rugged luxury. You have everything you could possibly need and nothing more, but it kind of feels luxurious. As soon as you walk in, the bed is right in the middle of the room. It is a mattress on the ground, but it is surprisingly comfortable. And the best thing is that we have floor to ceiling windows, which means we wake up to views of the sunrise over the private beach. I just don't think there's a better way to wake up than that. Other than that, there is one lounge chair with like a footrest and a bunch of storage behind the bed. Surprisingly enough, we do actually have air conditioning in here, which is such a luxury. And it actually works like 99% of the time. There's even four outlets spread across the room, which I wasn't really expecting. I think my favorite room though is this way. <laughs> How amazing is this? This is our bathroom, but I feel like that's not quite the right word for it. It's more of a garden that you happen to be able to shower in. We have everything you could possibly need. A full basin with a mirror, a toilet, which is oddly low to the ground, but the best bit. 
an outdoor shower. These are something you definitely have to take advantage of when you get them, even though you might not want to at the time. One negative about this outdoor shower is that it isn't heated, but a cold shower never killed anyone and it's kind of nice to cool down after a day in the sun. With all of these floor to ceiling windows, you can still have privacy while you shower. There's curtains on these ones and curtains on the front windows as well. We do shut these for dusk but kind of open them a little bit before we fall asleep so we can wake up to the sunrise. You even have extra curtains out on the patio. I don't know why you would ever shut these though because you would miss out on the amazing views that you have. The patio is also probably one of our favorite areas to relax and read a book. This resort has so much more to offer than we ever thought when we first booked it so our days are kind of busy. Kayaking is included. Now what? Alright, ready? Yeah. <laughs> is it, this is the first time we've been kayaking since Halong Bay. Yeah, it is. I will say Halong Bay does beat this scenery wise, <laughs> but we are by ourselves, which is pretty good. <laughs> John's doing all the work again. Happy day. Oh, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> How cool is the mountain and the landscape out here? The water is crystal clear and all greenery and we're the only ones out here. Oh, wait. <laughs> Almost capsizing a kayak isn't a big enough workout for you. You can always come to the beach gym. There is a surprising amount of equipment in here. Everything from your beached influence free weights to cable machines and squat racks. Everything you would need if you weren't on a holiday. The last year I would define what we have been doing as traveling and this short break here I would call a holiday. In my mind traveling and a holiday are very different things. When you're traveling you're on the go all the time moving trying new things out in the city seeing stuff. When you're on a holiday you're sitting at a resort watching the beach and reading a book. It's nice to get one of these in every now and then just to recharge our batteries and we couldn't think of a better time to do it than at the start of the year. And it wasn't as expensive as it could have been because we're technically in the wet season, even though it's been sunny almost every day. <laughs> it's also really nice here because while there is technically Wi-Fi, it doesn't really work. So we're kind of taking this chance to be a little bit more offline, a bit of a digital detox, try not to look at our phones so much and instead, pick up our books and read. I used to read books all the time, but since we started traveling last year, that's kind of fallen to the wayside. But since listening to Shameless Podcast, they recommended this book and I'm already halfway through and it's only been two days. So my new resolution for the year is to read a book a month. I could keep reading it all day long, but we have to get behind our laptops, unfortunately, to book some stuff. That's because in a couple of weeks time, we are flying into Portland, Oregon without any plans. We've only booked the one flight over. We don't even have visas ready. So we really need to knuckle down a bit. Once we're happy with the amount we've booked, 
we pry ourselves away from the computers again, probably gonna get back in the water. I think that is enough water sports for today and not because we fell off a bunch of times. We're gonna wait out in the room for a couple of hours before we have dinner, which we've already pre-ordered because it's all made fresh. A reminder that we are here during rainy season because there's a thunderstorm rolling in. I know we said we were going to be healthier and we've ordered fried spring rolls for dinner. They are vegetable. Does that make a difference? Thank you. <laughs> Does this even it out? Nazi boring? classic veggie nazi goring as well everything here tastes really good and i don't know if it's because of this but it's all made fresh you can't have anything unless you're ordering an hour before you need to eat it i think that's awesome